Hey you guys, I just wanted to make a quick little video on breastfeeding tips and tricks. Um, these are things that I've learned that my mother's taught me and just things that I've researched and looked. Um, first starting off, breastfeeding is a long journey. Um, it can be strenuous, it can be stressful, but it's also very rewarding in the same sense. Um, I am now, I think, 11 weeks, I think it is what it is, um, breastfeeding. Um, doing really good. I've only had one um, clogged duct, and when it came to the clogged ducts and stuff like that, I just had the heat pad, massage, heat pad, massage, showers, everything just to relieve it. And it was gone about, uh, let's see, I woke up with it probably around 5 o'clock in the morning. It was probably gone around 9 o'clock that night. But of course, you're still sore for a little while. I mean, that is, you know, you're causing uh, the pain and the duct to clog, and that's it's not very comfortable. Um, other than that, it's been going really good with Sophia. So I just wanted to show, share a few things that I've learned and that hopefully you guys will take and you'll do your own. Well, with my first two children, um, I breastfed my son for six weeks because I ended up getting a fever of 103 and my breast milk production completely stopped for no reason. Um, my daughter, I chose to only breastfeed her for about eight weeks just because I wanted my body back. I wanted to be able to drink without having to worry about anything. I'm not a heavy drinker. I just drink socially and raise every time, every now and then. Um, and with my daughter, I really wanted to extend it a lot longer this time. Um, so with the first two kids, I um, didn't discover you know some some things until my third one like for instance the buppy pillow it is a lifesaver I love it um, it cradles the baby perfectly where her head needs to be and it's also very comfortable for you because you don't have to worry about constantly hold her and propping her up with your head so hold on I gotta check my battery huh? okay, we're so good um, mommy neck necklaces those are wonderful I don't have mine on right now um, they're actually over there, but um, what it is is if you go to Mommy Necklaces, um, I believe it's mommynecklaces.com, and what they are, they're nursing necklaces, and they keep uh, babies more occupied when they're when they're when they're feeding instead of pinching, grabbing, scratching you. They can focus their hands on that and still be able to nurse without like reaching for something and losing their attention on what they should be doing. Uh, I love it. I have three of them. I wish I could get more right now, but right now we just moved. Um, they are lifesavers when it comes to being scratched, because I was scratched and pinched with my first two really bad. Sophia, she loves the necklaces. Uh, let's see. Another thing is, I know, you know, a lot of people, with when it comes to breastfeeding, you have let down regardless. And some people are worse than others. Like, I can have real bad letdown, even after my body has actually established the feeding pattern. And I still have letdown every now and then. So, and breastfeeding pads can be very expensive. And to me, they just don't hold a lot of milk if you are heavy flow, basically. Um, so, my trick that my mother had taught me was to, I get the cheapest brand I can find of just... Uh, pads. Regular, just regular, just pads. Regular ones. And they're the Cargo brand. Super Max. Regular little pads and stuff like that. Okay. So it's just the regular pad. And what I do is I cut these in half and use one pad. One pad will go for both foods because you're cutting it in half. So. I leave the sticky on. I don't ever use the sticky. To me, it's just easier. Um, and you can't, to me, you can't tell that you have them on. I actually have them on now. Um, there's a, they hold so much more of the letdown, and they don't hurt. They don't actually stick to your nipple, because I know some of them actually will, like, get stuck to the nipple after the letdown, and it's so painful. It can be very painful, especially if you have sores. And with these kind, which is the, hold on, the super, I use super because it's a heavier flow, um, 
the Super Maxi with four channel protection and cotton soft cover. The cotton soft cover is really nice because it's so smooth against your nipple and it the pad wicks away the moisture quick and you know you don't feel damp or anything and they hold so much more. Um, now if you're not a heavy flow person you could also use panty liners. Now I've done that before. Um, for me they don't work as well because I have a um, more of a heavy let down flow. So that's just a trick that I've learned and it works wonderful and it is this bag right here, the big bag was only like I think for 48 hats 349. So you're actually getting double that. So what that's 50 I think what 96 I think. Uh um, 96 basically for each side for less than four bucks compared to the little boxes that you get for 24 or whatever for like six or seven dollars. So it's just a little tip um, slash trick that I've learned and it just saves me so much money in the long run. Um, yeah, breastfeeding is cheaper. It is, you know, you don't have to buy the formula, but of course you have the expenses of the nursing pads, the the bras, the shirts if you want them, and stuff like that. But this is just a little something that you can save the money with. Uh, let's see, what else? That's pretty much what I can think of right now. I mean, if you guys have any questions about anything, uh, let down, uh, nursing, or anything like that, um, the baby's latch, uh, which is a very important thing. You have to make sure that baby's latch is perfect, and this bottom, and the bottom lip and your top lip are open like a fish, and that you can hear a gulp sound. If it's not gulping or it feels like they're pinching, it's hurting you. Um, so, but yeah, like if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to ask me anything. Um, and that is it, and hopefully I'll be able to get other videos up soon. Thanks, you guys. Bye.